Auntie Kathleen Walker of the Eastern Cuckoo Yalanji in the Wujul Wujul community in North Queensland regularly visits her ancestor, the waterfall. thanking it for its life-giving force. She is now asking the waterfall for life in the form of electrical energy from a planned small hydroelectric project. If they can acquire investment, this will be one of the first Aboriginal-owned power stations, helping Auntie Kathleen and the Wujul Wujul community care for their people and participate in the booming renewable energy economy. The hydro allows our traditional owners here, the Eastern Gobi Yalanji people, to actually have uh, an ability to determine their own futures, because if they own it, they don't have to depend on government funding. We've got to have our own um, house sourced out of our waterfall here to utilise it here within the community and be useful when the wet season comes because the power will always going on and off here. Any kind of industry that we can be owning and be getting economic participation in, like this green economy, we want to capitalise on it. We want to utilise the resources, the land that we have. It's our only resource, really. It'll benefit the community in the respects of financial stability. It'll create jobs and be an asset of our own to help us fund and govern our community and the wider region in Eastern Kupu Yalanji country. You can't return to country if the backbone network isn't there. You can't have emerging industries unless you've got that energy network to support those. So it's fundamental, it's core. If we had our own renewable energy here, we would be helping ourselves. It's not only just going to benefit a small group, it's going to benefit the whole community. It's our stated intention that the community will own this infrastructure, and they'll be the primary beneficiaries of their infrastructure. We have a long way to go working with the government on, particularly the state government, on how the community can get a beneficiary of that sort of infrastructure. And don't our traditional owners deserve the right to make decisions on their country that impact for the benefit of their people? Around the world, several indigenous people are already profiting from ownership of renewable energy. The Paiute of Nevada own a 250 megawatt solar farm which powers Los Angeles and provides millions in revenue for the tribe. Likewise, Treaty rights enable the Navajo Nation in Arizona to generate 70 megawatts of solar energy to power homes in Utah and generate millions in revenue and significant employment for the tribe. In New Zealand, a country rich in geysers and hot springs, the Treaty of Waitangi means that the Maori can own geothermal resources. The Tauropaki Trust manages the Mokai Geothermal Project which provides energy for thousands of homes and significant revenue for the iwi or tribe. There is this opportunity now to utilize these resources to provide income generation and, and, and well-being not only for the people of the area but you know for, for the for the tribe for the group you know, there's opportunities to generate revenue that can support many initiatives. With the people come back to work on the land or not, that it still enables an income stream that in part can be providing support to our owners no matter where they are in the world. Like the Native Americans and Maori, 
Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island peoples want to benefit from participating in the renewable energy industry. But without a treaty, they have weaker land rights and less ability to profit from their natural resources. Legislation is needed to correct this historical mistake. Auntie Kathleen and the Widgell Widgell community are asking the Australian and Queensland governments for capital investment for the hydroelectric microgrid so that they can care for their people and country. To your Parliament House, if you can listen, this is the opportunity for us to give something back to our people. Education, clean water, power, that we can make our own money, our own job. Not only for Yalandi, but Yalandi Nyongol Yalandi. And not only us, Mama, why will I make us ever on.